All right, hey guys, this one has taken me uh, way too long to put out, and I apologize, but sometimes I feel a higher responsibility to do my due diligence uh, testing this stuff, and uh, I think if I'm going to recommend a plate carrier that has kind of a, a unique build to it, that is one of those times, all right? A lot of times it's cut and dried. You can tell if it's made like junk or not. Uh, this one, I, I never suspected it was junk, but it's uh, functionally unique, and I wanted to, to confirm that before I put it out there. All right, so this is uh, Javelin Concepts. All right, uh, this is essentially their minimalist. However, I got it as a seconds or prototype deal, uh, so it was a little bit cheaper, and it might be a little bit off from what's currently on the website. Plus, they put out a new generation of it, and I don't know exactly what changed. All right, so uh, his plate carriers have kind of a unique approach to them. There's two different styles of cummerbunds you can get and uh, I regret that I don't have one of them, but I do have the more extreme one, if that's a good way of saying it, and that is the uh, Arcos, R-C-O-S, uh, and what that is is this uh, uh, cummerbund that stretches around here. It wraps uh, both sides, all right? It has a, a good strip of elastic in the back, uh, which gives it its uh, flex in sizing, and then once that is secured, it has this uh, molly panel here that is uh, velcro backed. All right, and I got a lot of junk on it, so you, you can't really see it very well right now, uh, but that junk will come into play in a little bit. All right, but basically the whole thing looks like this. It's all uh, laser cut molly, and it is backed with hook velcro. All right, you can see the hook doesn't quite extend all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. And that was part of why I wanted to take a little bit more time checking this out. Uh, but it threads uh, traditional molly just the same as anything else out there. It's it's not the most intuitive because you it, it doesn't look like it'll work at first. You got to go over the top of the laser cut portion and then under the velcro uh, to start your weave. But I, I promise it takes traditional molly pouches. Uh, and, and full height ones at that. It'll it'll easily seat M4 mag pouches on there, uh, no problem. And then once uh, you have that configured, you can have a handful of these uh, set up. You take them and you just lay them onto the Velcro on the vest, and uh, it wraps around uh, a little bit past. Uh, it, it goes about halfway around my body, uh, the way it's sized. Uh, so it's pretty good size. Uh, so on here I've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten columns of molly taken up, and then there's an additional three on each side, so it's 16 columns uh, for sizing reference, uh, just, just so you guys know what you're getting. And uh, what I wanted to make sure of on this, because there's no uh, additional retention on here, it is just uh, Velcro, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to come off under use, and uh, I had really good experience with that. I, I did burpees, I did sprints, I jumped up and down, and at times you could hear uh, a little bit of sound from the Velcro, like something was coming undone, but as long as it was a repetitive type movement, it sealed itself back up kind of on the on the counter uh, portion of that. All right, I really think the only way uh, you could have this fall off on you is if you took uh, like one really solid impact that is probably going to do some damage to you in the process or if you were being drug uh, on your stomach for some reason I think then you might shear it off but running burpees sprints even with uh, 40 round AK mags and two 152s it gave me no indication that it was going to fall off all right so that was what I wanted to to do extra due diligence on and again that was three uh, loaded 40 round AK mags. Alright. So looking at this thing a little bit more, uh, again this is their minimalist for all intents and purposes. Uh, mine had um, you know push to talk loops or you could put a, uh, a G hook on there or something like that if you really wanted to. I haven't found a reason to use it. Um, and then it's got the wraparound cummerbund which also has uh, this laser cut molly 
uh, internal so you can mount side plate pouches if you want to and there's nothing goofy going on with this at all so I wasn't worried about uh, that failing uh, so I never tried the side plate pockets uh, but they would fit just fine all right it's got uh, single piece shoulder straps that are sewn to the front plate bag and go through a plastic d-ring on the back and then fold back on themselves uh, so keep that in mind depending on what you might use your shoulder straps uh, to help anchor uh, you're not gonna be able to tie in from the rear very easily All right. and then on mine the back is just slick uh, which doesn't really matter whether it's you know laser cut molly or not it's functionally the same however one key thing to note on here is uh, this plate carrier better than anything else I've tried causes your back plate to ride a little bit higher which is the way that you need it to work and the way they've done that is with this cummerbund they've cut the back down to three inch elastic versus a five inch uh, cummerbund so where you know your front plate pocket is bottomed out here your back plate is bottomed out here and it caught it lifts it up uh, which is exactly what you want. All right, another interesting feature on here is the plates are top loaded. Uh, so this is super generous in uh, plate dimensions and everything because the shoulder never comes into play. All right, if the width is correct, it will fit. All right, so I've got plate backers and uh, USAPIs in here and fits yeah, like a champ, all right? It is a really, really nice, convenient design that does not fight you at all, all right? And then the last feature on here, and this applies uh, for all of their stuff, is the cummerbund pulls out all right, and then you can use that as a hasty chest rig. All right, uh, it's almost like a unity clutch worn uh, higher up. All right, you pull this out and then you just throw it around your body. There's no hook Velcro in here anywhere except for the front here. And uh, you just wrap that around you, uh, secure it on itself, and then throw the, the molly panel back on there. Uh, without the plates. All right, so the plate carrier is gone, but you still use that uh, as the the load bearing portion. All right, for a, a range rig or something like that, you know, you, you just need plates for safety, uh, and you have a fairly light load. This thing is is going to serve you uh, with no issues at all. The the quality is there for sure, and then kind of this obnoxious load on here. Again, no issues, but if you were getting it to really, really load down, I would, I would recommend that you try out your particular load before uh, you use this thing operationally. All right, just in case, you know, like I said, I've got three columns that I left open, and the reason I did that is if you have something heavy way out here, it's just adding to the sheer force, uh, try and rip that off. Again, I didn't have any issues with it, nothing moved on me, but there's, there is that chance if you know you're you're filling this thing up all the way out with flashbangs or something really dense for its size uh, all the way out to the wings there but i did try it with ak mags purposely to get stuff higher up on it so that there would be more uh, likelihood of that ripping off i think the 152s that far out were a good uh, test bed as well and again nothing moved so i feel confident in recommending the uh the javelin system there and i highly encourage you guys to check them out uh, while you've got a chance. Thanks guys.